Okay, so here's part three of making our own alphabet book or picture dictionary. Simone's doing a drawing now. I'll move around so maybe you can see it. And this is the letter A. She's going to try to think of all the things she knows how to draw to start with the letter A. Probably things she likes, too. Now, this looks like an animal. Let's see. It's a weird-looking animal. A weird-looking animal with a long, pointy snout, like uh, I think you mentioned it earlier. Is it an anteater? Yes. Yeah. And it's going to eat. This. And there's a poor little ant. Now, is an anteater like an aardvark? Uh, I guess, sort of. Are they the same or different? I wasn't sure. But they're both A They're words. very similar. Yeah, they're very similar? I think. So Simone decided to start with pencil, because if you mess up, you can always erase with a pencil. But we're not too worried about messing up. It's also okay if you have an idea of something you want to learn to draw, you can Google it if you have time. You can look it up in a real picture dictionary if you have one. So there's the ant eater. <laughs> I see you have the little <laughs> lines for the air where it's inhaling the ant. <laughs> and what? the ant is trying to run away. <laughs> well, it's got to eat somehow. What's another A word? What's a food? Hmm. An apple. An apple? Show us, uh, can you make an apple? Apples are round, but they're not really like circles, are they? No, they got little bumps on the bottom. They're ovalish. Ovalish. A little stem. They're not too ovalish, though. They can be lumpy. That's a good apple. And the cool thing with apples too that there's they're different colors. They can be red or yellow or green. And they can all they can be all different sorts of shapes too. Yeah, that's true. They're almost never perfectly round. Sometimes they're wider at the bottom. Sometimes they're wider at the top. Mm-hmm. All right. That's a nice-looking apple. That's a good-looking apple. She's shading it with a pencil. We can always color these with markers, too, if you want them, too, Simone. Yep. We got time. All right. What, what else? else? Automobile... Um, I'm trying to think of an A. What What else? It can't be that hard. An ape. A abacus. Arithmetic. Astronauts. It shouldn't be this tricky. Yeah, I'll do an ape. An ape? Okay. Try to show us an ape. It's probably going to end up looking really interesting. That's that's good. We don't want boring art. We want interesting art. And while you start this ape, I'll probably think of a million things. Apricots. An ambulance. Oh, I might draw that next. I see this. this Looks more like a bear than a, a that's monkey. That's right. <laughs> There's lots of different ways of, you know, there's lots of different types of apes and monkeys and gorillas and orangutans and chimpanzees. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Has a unit. I'll be honest with you, they're, they're not something I'm really good at drawing either. This is cool. Soon it'll be time for air conditioning. That's an A word. Um... Wow, they're always on the tip of my tongue unless I have to think of one. This is cool. Yeah, it looks great, Simone. Like how you have it going behind that A there. You just have the, the letter overlapping it. Right now I'm Simone's assistant, which is an A word. 
Mm-hmm. Action is an A word. Hard to draw, though. It is an action. Drawing is an action. There's the tail. All right. An ambulance. You want to do an ambulance and then we'll switch and I'll draw for a little bit and you can hold the camera. Yeah, that already looks. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> yeah, nice straight line there. Oh, there you were putting a little wheel, the little areas for the wheels. Wheel wells. Wheel wells, that's right. Simone's into automobiles. Every year we go to the auto show. That's an A, A word as well, automobile. I'm gonna make like a cartoony ambulance. That's fine. I love cartoony drawing. And when you draw like that, it's, things are exaggerated. They're not necessarily super realistic. But this is a good challenge for you to think about every letter in the alphabet and think how many different things you can draw that start with this letter and some things you might have to look up or do some research and that will expand your visual vocabulary you will know how to draw more and more things if you just maybe do one letter a day two letters a day maybe if you have time and you'll find that maybe there's some letters that you don't know how to draw a lot of things from that letter but you can do some research try think about it brainstorm you make little mistakes here and there every once in a while that's fine that's how you learn Oh, there's the light on top. This looks cool. I like Simone's drawing styles. She's not really, she's not really uptight. She she's really keeps her lines loose and her arm loose. And there, that's the, they put the, the that red cross on the side of an ambulance. That's like the signal, symbol for healthcare. Oh, there we go. Looks like it's going fast. I can practically hear it. Mm -hmm. All right, now uh, you want to switch for a little bit and then we'll switch back. Yep. All you gotta do is I have it so you can just come on around this way, Simone. All right. I have, oopsie. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> I should do the letter P. All right, so P, I always think of a pizza. So I'll start with a, a circle or a round shape. I'll put another one in there. That's where the crust is. And then they cut them up in the store. That's the tricky part is making sure that it goes right through the middle. What kind of toppings you want on there, Simone? Hmm. You know, I don't usually have this, but I like olives. Olives? You know what? I'm trying to eat more vegetables. So we'll put some olives. I didn't, I was, when I was younger, I did not like olives, but I like them a lot more now. I love olives. Yeah. I really like them now. I remember when I was in probably high school, somebody paid me $5 on a dare to eat a whole bunch of black olives because we all thought they were gross. Now I love them. If somebody dared me to eat a bunch of olives, I'd be like, how much money am I going to make? <laughs> Now, I might color these in later, but I might just draw a bunch of things in black and white first. I like to do things in pencil first, so make sure I get them the way I like them. And then you could do them in marker yep. or pen. Marker or pen. This is a fine tip black marker. I'm trying to, while I'm drawing this, thinking of other letters, words, ideas, objects that I can draw. These are black olives, by the way, that start with a P. Parakeets, parrots, what else? Um, you can give me some suggestions while you're thinking about it, Snow, or while you're holding the camera. Oh, I did say plants earlier. Plants, yeah. There's pizza, for now, I might color it. And plants, let's see, I like plants. I mean, we should. They give us oxygen. That's right. They do. You need them to survive on the planet. Oh, the planet. That's a P. Oh, yeah. A planet. 
Yeah, I don't know what kind of plant this is. I'm just freestyling. It's a crazy plant. Let's see. We'll give it. Yeah. It's an imaginary plant. It's a plant from another planet. Double P. What does this plant do, though? Makes oxygen. Now it has these little, we'll make up these little berries on here. They're edible. And we'll put it, it's in, it's in somebody's house, so it's potted. It's in a, a... That's one. A pot. A pot. The flower pot is a P word, too. Plant in a power, in a power, uh, flower pot is a P. And then a planet. We'll have planet Earth. All right. Let's see. We'll have here's a North Pole. Canada. Our friends to the north. And there's the United States. There's Florida and Texas. And we're right here. And I'm not sure exactly how it looks, but there's a planet. You know what? A uh, peace sign. Yes. Peace. What are some other letter? Pasta. Pasta. Look, macaronis are a type of pasta. So I'll make some macaronis. You know one thing I wish I knew how to draw? Uh -huh. A pony. I'll try it, I'll try it, okay? Those are macaronis, those are pastas. A pony is like a baby horse, right? So there's an ear. Now I always mess up the, the heads. It's a happy looking pony. Hey, there's the mane, it's not bad so far. I've done worse. There's some horseshoes. Actually it just looks bigger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember it was... The U.S. is pretty large. We have a Greenland. It's smaller. But it looks huge on maps and globes. That's my pony. What's another one? I got a little space here. Another P word. Hmm. Hmm. How? It shouldn't be this hard. How about... Exactly, place. exactly. How about the post office or a postman? Or paper. Paper. Meh. Drawing paper on top of paper. Paperception. Okay. Paper? And duh, how about what I'm holding right now? A pencil. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes I worry that I... My brain only works when it wants to. There. There's a pencil, and there's writing on the paper. Your turn. Ready? You could see everything through the screen. The, the screen, all right? You weren't blocking with your finger or anything? Nope. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? G. Yes. Hmm. Mm, grapes, grapefruit. Grapes are good. Grapes are easy to draw, too. Goat. A oh, ghost. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw a goat, because goats are funny. Goats are cool, yeah. I love goats. Let's see someone's... I can't wait to see how this turns out. This is a goat horn, though, so... Yeah, goats are cool animals. Got some horns there. Horns and ears. Oh, I see it. You know they have that little beard. That's why when people draw a beard and they call it a goatee, it's from the goat. Yes. Goats have that little beard. Goats, ghosts, grapes, grapefruit, giants. Because sometimes G has a soft sound, like a J. It sounds like a J sometimes. That's an awesome goat so far, Simone. Wow, the galaxy we live in. 
Then that starts with a G. So hopefully people get into this project and it takes some time, but you could have a page or two or three for every letter in the alphabet. Go A through Z. You put them in your sketchbook. You can put them on loose pieces of paper. You could keep them in a folder or staple them together and make a book. And after a year, look back and look at all the things you've learned how to draw that you didn't know before. Hmm, what do goat tails look like? Do they, I don't know. Are their tails long or short? Hmm. I think they have short tails, don't they? Yeah. That's a great goat, though. It looks just like a goat. Guardians of the Galaxy. Those characters, there's two G's in that, and that was a good movie. Games. People like to play games, board games, video games. That's Ooh, awesome. That's a fantastic goat. goat. What's next? Do some grapes real quick. Is that a stem? Yep. And then just round shapes that are all connected in a, in a bunch of grapes. Let me move that closer. That's a good bunch of grapes there, Simone. Just repeated circles that are all connected. Big and small. Big and small. I love grapes. Grapes are really good. They are good, and they're good for you. I like them frozen. Oh, I've actually never had frozen grapes. Oh, it's great. I've had frozen blueberries, though. Frozen blueberries are fantastic. Can you draw a ghost? Oh. That would be a good one. Ah, she's making it around the G. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. That's cool how you made, you incorporated the letter into your drawing. There's that little bit of wind, but that's okay. A little gust of wind. Another G word. All now right. they're popping, popping into my head like crazy. Let's see, what's another one? Hmm. Galaxy, garage, gas. grapefruit, gas. gas. Like car S gas. Like solid liquid and gas. You could have a gas pump, a gas can. You could have the fumes of the gas. I'm going to do a uh, gas pump because those are fun to draw. Oh, I see. There's the nozzle and you have like some drips of gas coming out. Yep. I can tell Simone's very observant. When you go places and she watches somebody pump pumps gas, she pays attention to what it looks like. There's the gas hose. Yeah, the hose that connects to the pump, and then there, that's the nozzle. Oh, I put the handle on the wrong side. Oh, that's all right. But she likes to have it pretty neat, so she's fixing it. Very impressive. All right, what's another G word? Gymnastics. A oh. gymnast. You used to take gymnast. You used to take gym. Gymnastics. Um, oh, gym, that's another one. Yeah, gym. Hmm. Or do you want to switch real quick while we're, while we're you're thinking? Or you want to keep going? You can keep going. I'm going to do one more. And then one I'll more switch. G? Yes. Hmm. Let's think. A giant. Yeah, I'll make a giant. A goalie. You play goalie in street and field hockey. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe a soccer goalie. A soccer goalie? Yeah. Hockey goalie. So if you're ever stuck thinking of a word, think of... I like to think of foods and animals, sports. There's lots of ways, lots of things you can think about. Plants, different types of plants, different types of fruits. Right, here's the goalie. The goalie's got the mid up, like stop. No, nothing's getting through there.
and you're turning the, the shape of this G into the goalie. Well, so I didn't creative. even think of that, but. Oh, that's, well. <laughs> <laughs> Happy accidents, right? Yep. This person has some interesting hair. Oh yeah, that was a little spiky. Ooh, good, good drawing there, Simone. And if you ever really get stuck, if you have an actual dictionary or a picture dictionary, you can look through there for inspiration and you'd be surprised how many things I bet you know how you can you you know how to draw that you don't think you can. And I guess you could consider that goalie a guy, right? Mm -hmm. Guy is a G. Girl, gentleman. You know, the goalie's getting a little gas on his leg. <laughs> Got soccer cleats on, so the spikes help them run. Cool. All right, well, it looks like we're running out of time. Do you want to really quick have a ball head in for him that he's going to block? Here's a soccer ball. Hmm. I always had a hard time drawing soccer balls. I never knew hexagons were so hard. They, well, to get them to connect each other, it is hard. But we get the idea. Yeah, it's not hard to draw a hexagon, but to have all the hexagons inter interact. Oh, that looks good, though. Simone draws a little faster than me. She's got a cool style. This definitely looks like a soccer goalie. I, I see the soccer ball. That's fantastic. All right. Mm -hmm. We can always finish coloring these in later. You know, it's... Everybody always has time in their day to do some art. Yes, that's right. Say that again a little bit louder. I said everybody has always has time in their day to do some art. That's right. Even if it's... If it's all day or just for a little bit of time, it's good for you. It's good for your brain. Makes you feel good. Makes time go fast, too. All right. You want to say goodbye there, geez? That, that turned out awesome. Thanks, Simone.